or something. And now we get to the forest. The daily self. Hold, outsider. You may be of my kind, but you are not Dalish. Why are you here? And what business is that? Seeing as you are obviously no simple trespasser, I will leave it to the Keeper to decide the importance of your business. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself, and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. See, we have guests. Who are these strangers, Mithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. I understand, but this one claims to have important business with our people. I see. Tell me, stranger, what business could you possibly have with us? We have our own issues we must deal with, as you can see. You might have simply said so to begin with. <laughs> Masiran, Mithra. You may return to your post. Manuvinen, Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zafrian, the Keeper of this clan. Yeah, you, you, I could have said that of our ancient lore. at the beginning. And you are? If you came to bring news of the Blight in the south, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Why not? Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? Huh. I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait. Werewolves. They ambushed us. And though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak, even with all our magic and healing skill. We will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligation. I am truly sorry. Uh -huh. So, what if somebody actually stopped those werewolves? What did the, these beasts uh, uh, attack you? And unrelenting. They need no reason to attack anyone. What is curious, however, is the ambush. We expect werewolves to be no more cunning than a rabid wolf. The ambush suggests a level of intelligence we've never seen before. I doubt that. The very curse that is in their blood fills them with an unreasoning rage that precludes any true thought. The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that, that would be no trivial task to retrieve. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm good at non-trivial tasks. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. The clans only communicate at the Arlathan once every ten years. Oh, good. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. If I help you, what will you give me? We would assist with the blight, of course. And you would have our gratitude. Mm, now that you put it that way. Anyone who would undertake such danger for our benefit would be remembered for it. Few have who are not one of our own. There
There is no guarantee that this will work, as I suspect. But it's the only hope we have left. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brasilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Make them quick, if you please. I have much to do here. My apprentice Lanaya or Seirel, the clan's storyteller, could provide you with answers just as easily. Watch for the white wolves. They are his eyes and ears in the forest. There is not much to say. It stemmed originally from Witherfang, but now any werewolf may infect someone with it. Every place I go, there's lots of problems. And <laughs> of course, I'm the one who needs to fix them. Oh. It is possible, but not guaranteed. The only way to protect against the curse is not to be bitten. Nice. You will know within a matter of days. You will begin to sweat and vomit, and most tellingly, your temper will become wild and uncontrollable. If that happens to you, you should seek out Witherfang even more swiftly. Your mission at that point will be rather personal. No. The ones from this forest, however, do. That is a long tale I do not have time to tell. Ask Sayrel about it if you wish. Go on then. I must return to carry I should go. Creator's speed on your way. Uh, hello? Hello. I'm Cameron, a hunter apprentice. Oh, oh I wish I this could guy. <clears throat> So why can't you? I shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. Try me. I suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of a beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. Something. <laughs> I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Dana. Uh-huh. Good Bob Brums. heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. I wonder why. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... And Dana will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. I suppose you could, but what good would that do? The situation hasn't changed. I can be pretty persuasive. Really? I, I, I'm willing to try anything. I'm Garen Atishan, outsider. I'm not sure what I can tell you, but I shall try. Zastrian? He has been our keeper since long before my parents' parents were born. What could you wish to know about him? I don't know. Very old. It is said that Zastrian may be one of the first to become as our ancestors were long ago, immortal. Hmm. Pretty old guy. He keeps us safe. And he keeps the knowledge of our people safe. So we may bring it to all of our people one day. So he actually should know well about werewolves. The ways of our ancestors, of course. From the time of our Lathen, before the human empire enslaved our people. From the other clans. And from the artifacts we uncover in our travels. Everywhere the old empire was... So went their slaves. Pieces of our past lie everywhere. To your people, when there is a new homeland for us all to settle in, the Dalish shall teach your people what they have forgotten. Yes. What is that? You spoke to him? What did he say? 
He said that you were cruel and he hates you. Uh, he said that if he was lucky, he would bet you soon. Uh, he said that you refused to give him your hand. Oh. Let's speak that one. I don't expect an outsider to understand our ways, but I just can't bond with Canon. He's been a hunter apprentice for over two years now, and he's yet to slay a proper beast. Each time he's tried, something has gone wrong. Perhaps the creators do not maybe, wish maybe us he's to bond. A bit I cannot bond with an apprentice hunter, can I? Well, why not? But what if he never becomes a proper hunter? What will become of our family? Oh, you are right. I have made poor Canon miserable. A matchmaker. No he cannot complete his hunt. <laughs> Mas Sirenas, thank you. You have helped me put this into perspective. I will go and speak to Canon. <sighs> Canon, I have been a fool. Kena? What, what do you mean? Have you changed your mind? I have. The outsider has helped me to see that I was wrong. I have made you miserable, and I should not have. But what about my hunt? Oh, I don't care about that. I know you will pass your hunting time, and we will be happy. Us and our children. Thank you, Gaina. You've made me a happy man. I feel blessed by the gods today. Ah, sweet. We are both very grateful for the part you've played in bringing us together. How marvelous you are. I am so happy. Does anyone else feel the urge to vomit? <laughs> no? It's just me? Here, take the book. I hope it plays some part in your battle against the Dark Spawn. It's the very least I can do. Short draw distance. Uh, what is that smell? Ugh. Must we muck about in the animal pens now? Who comes? Oh, I beg your pardon, stranger. I was so busy attending to the Hala, I did not hear your approach. Hala. What is Hala? They are the noble beasts that pull our Arabelle. What do you call land ships? They are our companions and okay. our guides. I have seen your horses. The relationship is different, as is the purpose. We ride the Hala, but never with reins or a saddle. It is the Hala who decide where to lead us, and our privilege that they take our Aravel with them. In return, it's the herder's job to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. It's a bond of friendship, and not servitude. I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. I can find no wound on her. No we werewolf dears, she's truly then. ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery. For her sake, as well as that of the others. I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. To X7, uh, Hala. You can be really, really ugly <laughs> in this game. Uh, hello, dear. No, no, I'm sorry. She isn't calming any more around you than she is for me. What do you think? <laughs> Bertrand, lie. You are right, this anime is suffering. I am glad you attempted it regardless. I will watch her for a while longer and see if her condition changes. I am grateful for your assistance, friend. Please leave that be. If you have need of equipment, I am sure Master Varathorn can help you. What is the point? It is none of your business, so please, leave it be. I'm Varenitian Grey Warden. 
My name is Linaya. I am Zathian's first, what you might call an apprentice, perhaps. I've been studying under the Keeper all my life. I am a bit curious of the outside world. Do you mind if I ask you a question or two? Sure. I hear the human cities are very large. Thousands upon thousands of souls all packed together in their houses. Is that true? How very loud that must be with everyone talking all at once. I try to imagine those of our people living in such a place, surrounded by walls of stone and indifference. It is a difficult thought. Being accustomed to pain and suffering does not make it any less tragic. It is said that one day we will have a land of our own. We Dalish gather the ancient wisdom in preparation for this. When that day comes, all elves, even those who have forgotten, will reclaim their former glory. I, I wonder I if this is question. something that Though is going to happen in a it. new Dragon Age game. Ever regret what they did to us? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I think some of them do, not all humans are the same, I've dropped the TP and said it's just history to them, I really can't tell, I haven't seen anything. And yet, even if some regret, they do nothing. A poet once wrote of them, before the fall of the Dales. Like dragons they fly, glory upon wings. Like dragons they savage, fearsome pretty things. Perhaps hmm. you don't need me to quote poetry to you, forgive me. Perhaps you have some questions of your own. Nothing that you could not ask Zathian himself. He is the keeper of this clan and has been for a very long time. He is also a very good man who has lost much. The Dalish are everything to him, and he would do anything to protect them. He lost his family a very long time ago. Mm, interesting. I don't know the story, but I understand the circumstances were horrific. They have reason. Since the days of our lapping, my people have been either subjugated or homeless. It was our ancestral home long ago when the humans first came to these lands. We were free then and immortal. We did not know how to deal with the humans, and in the end, they turned their power against us and destroyed our lapping. Our ancestors were enslaved and our culture lost forever. Yes. After a millennium of slavery, our people were freed by Andraste, the human's prophet who spawned the Chantry. We worship the creators, as we always have. We give thanks to Andraste for her part in our freedom, but we do not worship her or her god. They died, but not of an aged body as other races do. Not until the humans came. According to the legends, association with humans caused us to quicken. Our blood sped, and we began to age. So we avoided them, naturally. And then we were enslaved by them for a thousand years. And in so doing, we all were quickened permanently, and our immortality destroyed. Or so the old tales say. The Tevinter Imperium was a force to be reckoned with. It was ruled by mages with powerful blood magic. Though our Lathan fought, they lost. Not to my knowledge, According to the old tales, the human mages sank our Lathan into the ground, crushing it beneath the rock. Shemlin, we call them. Quick children. I suppose it takes a certain arrogance to look upon another people as children, no? Perhaps we should be more heedful of our own role in our Lathan's loss. Even so, it is a bitter lesson to learn. One we are not grateful for. That was our second homeland. Our first was the Great the Dale Dalish Isle. Elves. The Dales came when they were freed from enslavement. Elves everywhere journeyed hundreds and thousands of miles to the Dales, eager to start their lives anew. They called it the Long Walk. They reached the Dales and made it their own. And one day it was taken from us too. And you wonder why we are hostile. Yeah. It requires an individual to prove he is not the outsider we have come to expect. Your own task to help our clan is certainly a step in the right direction. That's true, and you're not even a human, so it's doubly unfair. But fairness does not play into such feelings. No outsider has ever been good for us. Oh? That is easy to say when you are not a homeless wanderer of a broken people. 
It is all we can do to cling onto our past now. Perhaps this may change one day, but I believe the humans would have to take the first steps, if they are capable. Certainly. He did? Why would he send you to tell me such a thing? Is he out of Ungwent already? I just bought him some an hour ago. Excuse me. Hello. The Watch Wolves have spoken truly, my brothers and sisters. Another of the Dalish come to put us in our place. Come to make us pay for our attack. makes no difference to us. One elf is as good as another, especially when they are dead. You speak to Swift Runner. I leave my cursed brothers and sisters. Turn back now. Go back to the Dalish and tell them that you have failed. Story changes. Them we will gladly watch them suffer the same curse. We have suffered for too long. We will watch them pay. About what? Was it not Zafrian who sent you? <sighs> he wishes only our destruction. Never to talk. <sighs> we have never met he and I. He would not survive the experience. I swear it. You know nothing, do you? Nothing of us, and even less of those you serve. You are a fool, and we are done talking. Run from the forest while you can. Run to the Dalish and tell them they are doomed. Intimidated. Very well. I will not risk throwing my people at you like unthinking brutes. Come, brothers and sisters, let us retreat. The forest has eyes of its own, and it will deal with intruders as it always has. Okay, didn't didn't come to the battle. Okay, hey, hey, who are you? Okay, you are died. You know, no, you are still alive. Who comes? A gray warden. Here? But... Uh, uh, we were sent to find Witherfang, bring his heart, attack... I... Uh. Okay. Take the hunter back to the Dalish camp. And Darren Atishan, Grey Warden. Our scouts saw you approaching and tell me you carry the body of one of our hunters with you. Ah, Dagon. He is wounded, but I think he will live. Ma Siranus, your help is appreciated. Come, Lethaline. Let us take Dagon to the keeper and quickly. If we are lucky, we may still save him. Why are you? Listen, I am not the mind of beast I appear to be. Obey. I am cursed, turned into this creature. The curse, it, it burns in me. I into the forest. The werewolves, they... But I had to return. I had to. Careful. These werewolves might have laid a trap for us or something. You never know. You are. But you're one of the Dalish. Ah, this is the one we were looking for, probably. Have you seen my clan? So, 
You know what happened to us? No. I cannot be healed. Not even by magic. Interesting. Please, you must listen. My name is Brandon Lyra. My husband, he is called Atras. Please. Okay, she, she's, she's the one we are looking for. Why you are not dead? I spoke to Athens, he worries about you. I wanted to be at peace. He is a good man. He is too much. Let him suffer, thinking of me. Oh, the pain. The curse is fire in my blood. Please stand it for me. Turn it for me. You must end it. Yeah. We want, must end the curse. And it answers. What I know is promise. That promised. I will end it myself. I do not recall if we can actually save, save, save her. Who are you? Oh dear, oh dear. Not a werewolf and not a spirit even. What are the woods coming to? Questions, questions, always questions. They say it was questions that made me mad. Well, it's the same for you. Ask a question and you'll get a question, but give an answer and you'll receive the same. Oh, I do so love to trade. Wouldn't I have to ask you a question first? Would you know a question if it was asked? No, that is not a question. And if it be an answer, it'd be an answer to a question I've not asked. Have you no sense for the rules? Uh, no. Be cautious. This is no ordinary madman. He has magic. I can sense it. Powerful magic. No fair bringing mages to a guessing game. Will you play by the rules or not? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? How do I enter the center of the it's forest? The wolfmen have their lair, but the trees will block the path. There's a way to fool the trees, of course. Trees are thick, wooden things, after all. Easily fooled, if you know how. Oh, yes. I still have the acorn in that old book. Oh, yes. Well, Grand Oak is probably somewhere else. Hmm. Wonder if the book would be better than acorn. Oh, and what do you have to trade for the acorn? A book, hey? What sort of book? Songs? What kind of songs? Learning a good song or two might keep the mice away at night. Give me that. There, now that's done. What else have you got on your agenda, hmm? Oh, 
I see. You're going to report to them now, are you? Fine. Goodbye. Can we now hmm. talk? What manner of beast be thee that comes before this elder tree? Can't you see me? I'm a werewolf. Hmm. Aware, thou sayest? How can this be? I sense no curse inside of thee. Ah. Could it be instead a lie? There is no need. Why even try? Very well. Ah, yellow. yes. I remember thee. Long ago, the elves roamed free. Their numbers few and passing fast, until one eve we saw their last. Allow me a moment to welcome thee. I am called the Grand Oak, sometimes the Elder Tree. It rhymes? Tis a rhyming tree. <laughs> One can only imagine what manner of spirit is involved yep. here. The world is certainly full of marvelous, unexpected creations. Each day we see something that we never thought possible. And unless thou thinkst it far too soon, might I ask of thee a boon? I have but one desire, to solve a matter very dire. As I slept one early morn, a thief did come and steal an acorn. Is this the acorn you are talking about? My joy soars to new heights indeed. I am reunited with my seed. This cannot pass without reward. I shall give what little I can afford. Keep this branch of mine with thee, and pass throughout the forest free. I wish thee well, my mortal friend. Thou brought my sadness to an end. May the sun Rhyming find three. you. Thy days be long, thy winters kind, and thy roots be strong. Grand Oaks branch allows you to pass the barrier. Yeah, there were not many hints about this. Okay, th that's our friend again. The forest has not been vigilant enough. Still, you come. You are stronger than we could have anticipated. The Dalish chose well, but you do not belong here, outsider. Leave this place. treacherous Dalish to kill with a fang. I will not stand by and allow that to happen. Well, he has kind of the point. We, we need to... We, we could end the conflict by killing the winter fang. And they deserve no less. Why? You are an intruder in our home. You come to kill. As all your kind do, we have learned this lesson well. Here, with a man protects us. Here, we learn our names and our beloved. We will defend with a fang and this place with our lives. Okay, it's it's going to be a boss fight.
step, step, step. Okay. White wolf. Huh. We are invaded. Intruders have deceived their way into the forest park. Fall back to the ruins. Protect the lady. Lady. Not the Vita Frank, but lady. I think this is it. Werewolf City. Kind of flea heaven, isn't it? Flea <laughs> heaven. Well. So then we need to make some decisions. And at this or by our games, you need to just. You might not be always uh, be able to take both sides. Room used to be. Is it Tevinter or Elven? Okay. More customers. Yep. You can go. This is uh, against every, I think, oh, ops. What, what is that skill the dragon is using? I don't know. No, we need some kind of interruption. Finally. Now we get get the opening. Well, 
Luckily, it's it's small dragon, but it's still not a fun to be trampled by that. So it's a, it's a voice weapon. Well, only wind was far away enough. Okay, finally. <sighs> we got it. Heavy chain man. Maybe he had eaten it or something. Okay, there's a soldier corpse. As you say. Quite many soldiers here. Dwarf corpse, okay. Dragon Horde. Okay, in this game, there's a Dragon Horde. Silver medallion. All sorts of stuff. And very good bow, I think, yes. Apparently, the <laughs> that spirit wasn't up to no good. Joker, not blade arm. There's not lots of resistance. Death Siphon, Arcane Horror. I shall do. Still trying not high enough, okay. Right. set of good because we kind of lost two group members already. <laughs> the lightning bolt went U turn. No, but his his uh, underlings do actually suffer from this feather. Alistair don't go there. <laughs> Again. Then there's enemies closer. Alistair is last man standing. Do not waste 
Jewish anymore of our yeah. people. Hurt. To his credit, he has been trying to limit ca like casualties. Are you willing to parley? Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. Lady. She means you no harm. Provided your willingness to parlay in peace is an honest one. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the Fade itself to see you pay. I bid you welcome, mortal. Interesting. I am the Lady of the Forest. Interesting outfit. Do not listen to her, Lady. She will betray you. We must attack her now. Hush, swift runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. Then the time has come to speak with this outsider, to set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift Runner's behalf. He struggles with his nature. Truer words were never spoken. But few could claim the same as these creatures, that their very nature is a curse forced upon them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. He lost his family. Such as... It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures uh -huh. suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. The humans tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. Catherine came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of our great wolf. So Witherfang came to me. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and savage creatures. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady. You gave me peace. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. Or did you ambush the Dalish? In part. We seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who were long dead. 
Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships pass this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <laughs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. I have a another plan. Uh, horrible, horrible choices here. Uh, I think he just misses to curse his own people. He will never break the curse, my lady. He will never allow it. You know this. We cannot know that. Surely his rage does not run so deep he would endanger his own clan. Maybe. If Zathrian comes, I shall summon Witherfang. I possess that power. I also have the power to ensure Witherfang is never found. Okay. Tell Zathrian this. If he does not come, if he does not break the curse, he will never find Witherfang, and he will never cure his people. I see. Then we shall await your return. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. Oh, he's already here. Fine. Ah, and here you are already. Yep. Did you? Aren't you the intuitive one? There was no way to tell what would happen once you reached this ruin, so I decided to come myself. Just so. Did you? You didn't. May I ask then, why are you leaving the ruin? There was no need. I knew you would find it, and I did not care to give you a history lesson about things that have no bearing on your purpose here. But it seems the spirit convinced you to act on her behalf. Might I inquire what she wants? You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Okay. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both, two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage. Everyone lies as well as in this human. game. I find that difficult to believe. Well, it's they attacked true. my clan. And they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. She may then be slain and the heart taken. Even so, they are still the same worthless creatures that their ancestors were. Well, he's, he's still clinging to the, the hatred. They possess. This is not your battle, Grey Warden. Let us just take the heart and be done with it. You were not there. You did not see what, what, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are Elven. You know what it is like to have injustice thrown in your face. Their crimes could not go unanswered. I have sworn to protect my people, and I shall. I will not lift a finger to help the descendants of savages who deserved the curse they received. Tell me, if you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? Me to go and talk? I will do so. 
but what if there is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? No. <laughs> uh, uh. I fail to see the purpose behind this, but very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. So here you are, spirit. She is the lady of the forest. You will address her properly. You've taken a name, spirit? And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages, worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit, as is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? is an old forest mortal, and I am its spirit, its heart. I was not summoned from across the veil, but pulled from the trees, the rock, and the soil. Nature I was magic. I to the body of the great wolf with a fan. Not possessed, like a sylvan or the undead, but bound into one being. Such powerful magic, however, could not be accomplished without Zathrian's blood. The curse and his life are intertwined. So I believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian, but that is not true. So long as the curse exists, uh, so do you. Eternal life. No, that is not how it is. I did it for my people. I did it for my son and my daughter. For them, for justice, I would do anything. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. See? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Wolf, or get out of my way! You lent it, that curse, if I had to force my own body. We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. No more. I, I cannot. He's surrendering. I cannot defeat you. Finish it. Kill him now. No, Swift Runner. We will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? I cannot do as you ask, Spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I cannot do it. Would you really let your clan die for this? Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It 
has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end. High drama. Okay, he died. But she's nature spirit, so her energy just returns to the forest or something. Human, I can scarcely believe it. We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We will never forget you. <laughs> and run. Odd. I'm sure you must have misunderstood his intent. Thank you anyway. It is done. Zathrian has banished all traces of cursed blood from the hunters. It is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he departed. I think he was ready to go. It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries, and he will be sorely missed. But I am keeper now. Let me say it officially then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Call, and we shall come, with great speed and purpose, and we shall strike at your foes. This I swear. It has been a long time since the Dalish marched to war, but I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you. Working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. Okay. Truly, let me see. Yes, that is indeed iron bark, and a substantial quantity of it as well. Well done. An agreement is an agreement, and I will craft something from this wood for you. What would you like? A bow, or perhaps a breastplate? I have good bows, but uh, the breastplate. I wonder what kind of breastplate is that, because thieves don't get very good armor. Medium since that just be that is strength. Ah, okay. Well, it's it's okay. Maybe some kind of uh, 
Uh, longbow. Anubinin, I will craft it myself. Watch if you prefer. It will not take long. Yeah, maybe maybe that's more useful. And I've reformed the wood to my will. A Dalish longbow for you. May it serve you well. 